Hello friends, here we have discussed student attendance system teacher module, and in this video we will see how can we create new teacher account in the student attendance system. Previously, we have seen how to load teacher table data on web in jQuery data table, now for create new teacher account we have go to teacher.php file. Here we have write button tag with type is equal to button, id is equal to add button, and in button text we have write add, by click on add button bootstrap for modal will pop up on web page for enter teacher details. After this here we have create span tag with attribute id is equal to message operation, under this we will display success message on web page. Here we have add bootstrap date picker library for use data picker feature in form for select teacher date of joining. After this, we have use bootstrap for modal skeleton for add new teacher record, in this modal we have add id is equal to form modal. Under modal dialog class, we have create form, with attribute method is equal to post, id is equal to teacher form, and encryption type is equal to multipart form data for upload file. Here in modal title class, we have add id attribute is equal to modal title, by using this attribute we can display dynamic modal title. Now we have defined form tag field, so here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and id is equal to teacher name, under this admin can enter teacher name details. For display teacher name validation error, here we have create span tag with id is equal to error teacher name, teacher name validation error will display under this tag. After this, for enter teacher address, here we have write text area field with name and id is equal to teacher address, under this admin can enter teacher address details. For display teacher address validation error, here we have create span tag with id is equal to error teacher address, teacher address validation error will display under this tag. Same way for enter teacher email address details, here we have write input type is equal to text, with name, and id is equal to teacher email id, under this admin can enter teacher email address details. For display teacher email id validation error, here we have create span tag with id is equal to error teacher email id, teacher email id validation error will display under this tag. After this for enter teacher password details, here we have write input type is equal to text, with name, and id is equal to teacher password, under this admin can enter teacher password details. For display teacher password validation error, here we have create span tag with id is equal to error teacher password, teacher password validation error will display under this tag. Now for enter teacher qualification details, here we have write input type is equal to text, with name, and id is equal to teacher qualification, under this admin can enter teacher qualification details. For display teacher qualification validation error, here we have create span tag with id is equal to error teacher qualification, 
Teacher qualification validation error will display under this tag. After this assign grade to teacher, here we have write select tag with name and is equal to teacher grade ID. Under this tag, we want to list available grade. For this we have go to database connection.php, here we have make function like load grade list with object dollar connect variable. Under this function, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from grade table order by grade name in ascending order. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query execution, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will return query execution result. Now we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output variable, and under this we have append HTML code like option tag with value is equal to dollar row grade ID variable, and in option text we have write dollar row grade name variable. After this we have write return statement with dollar output variable, it will return output of this function. Now we have go to teacher.php file. And here we have write echo statement with load grade list function with dollar connect variable. It will list grade name under this select box. For display teacher grade ID validation error. Here we have create span tag with ID is equal to error teacher grade ID, teacher grade ID validation error will display under this tag. Now for enter teacher date of joining details, here we have write input type is equal to text with name and ID is equal to teacher date of joining, under this admin can enter teacher date of joining details. For display teacher date of joining validation error, here we have create span tag with ID is equal to error teacher date of joining, teacher date of joining validation error will display under this tag. Lastly for upload teacher profile image, so here we have write input type is equal to file, with name and ID is equal to teacher image, from this tag admin can select teacher profile image. For display teacher image validation error, here we have create span tag with ID is equal to error teacher image, teacher image validation error will display under this tag. Now we have go to modal footer class and here we have write input type is equal to hidden with name and ID is equal to hidden teacher image under this tag we will store teacher image details. After this we have again create input type is equal to hidden, name and ID is equal to teacher ID, under this tag we will store teacher ID details. For define data operation action, here we have create input type is equal to hidden, name and ID is equal to action, 
and value is equal to add, by default we have set add as value to this tag. For submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and ID is equal to button action, and in value we have write add, by click on this button form data will be submitted. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, and here first we want to enable data picker on data of joining tag. So here we have write dollar with text ID teacher date of joining with date picker method, it will initialize bootstrap date picker plugin. Under this method, we have write first option format, and here we have defined date format, and after this we have write auto close option set true. After this, we have create clear field function, it will clear all form fields details. Under this function, we have write dollar with form id teacher form with zero index with reset method, it will clear all form field details. For clear teacher name validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher name, with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. After this for clear teacher address validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher address, with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. Same way for clear teacher email id validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher email id, with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. Now for clear teacher password validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher password, with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. Below this we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher qualification with text method with blank value, it will clear teacher qualification validation error. For clear teacher date of joining validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher date of joining, with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. Same way for clear teacher image validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher image with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. Lastly, for clear teacher grade validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher grade id with text method, with blank value, it will clear validation error. Now we have proceed for pop up modal, here we have write dollar with button id add button with click event, if admin click on add button then this block of code will execute. Under this, we have write dollar with id modal title, with text method, and under this we have write add teacher, it will display this text on modal header. For set add text on submit button, here we have write dollar with submit button id button action with value method, and under this we have write add, it will change button text to add. Same way for define action, here we have write dollar with hidden tag id action with value method, and under this we have write add, it will assign this value to this hidden tag.
for pop-up modal on web page, here we have write dollar with modal ID form modal with modal method, and under this we have write show, it will pop up on web page. Lastly, we have called clear field function, it will clear all form field and validation error on web page, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page here we can see add button has been appear on web page. Now we have click on add button, after click on add button modal has been pop up on web page, here we can see teacher add form, at modal header we can see add teacher title, now in next part we will discuss, how to submit form data using Ajax with PHP. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.